Hey everybody, it's Sharon here from TheGamingAct.com. Here we are today back in Jackbox Party Pack 6, grabbing the Kill Dead achievement. This is going to be done in a game of Joke Boat. It is to make sure one of your players wins every round. Obviously, you are going to need a minimum of three players for this, so get your web browsers, devices, and all that stuff ready, and then hop into a game. Alright, round one's going to start. As always, we are going to come up with some topics. Just write whatever you want for this, or you can leave it blank and just run the timer out. Doesn't really matter. Then once you get to the joke writing phase, very important that you pick a player that you are going to feed all of the points to. So in this case, we're going to pick player one. And the best way of doing that is to make sure you make their punchlines distinguishable from the other players. So I like just using numbers. Then when it's time to actually perform the jokes, what's going to happen is you are going to have two jokes pitted against each other. What you want to do here is you just want to make sure you vote for player one's jokes. So whenever you have the vote off, you want to make sure you can tell the two apart and vote for whatever you put player one's as. So if you were like me and use a number system, you just want to pick the one that you put a one next to. And that way you can feed all the points to player one. So you want to do this the two times that the player 1's punchline comes up, once against player 2's and once against player 3's. As for the third one, you're going to have player 2 versus player 3. In a situation like this, all you have to do is just run the clock out. So just make sure you just do nothing and the vote is going to go 0-0. So you only want to feed points to your player 1, that way the other two aren't putting up any points. Round 2, pretty much the same situation, but you are going to start off writing new punchlines for different jokes. Once again, just keep up our numbering system, make sure you make player 1's punchlines distinguishable from the other two, and you should be good for this. Same thing when it comes to the voting round, always vote for player 1, always leave the 2 versus 3 1 alone, and put up 0 points on that, and then you should be good for the first two rounds. As for round three, it's going to play a little different. Basically, you are going to get a previously used joke, and what you have to do here is you have to rewrite the punchline. So keep up our numbering system in order to differentiate all of the three players' different punchlines. So make sure you can tell each of them apart. So once you do that, you are going to get to the voting phase. If you made sure you kept a system in order to differentiate player one's jokes from the other two, you should be able to pick them out from the crowd a lot easier. So once again, just vote for all of the ones that player one has. And if you get to that two versus three rounds, make sure you don't vote for anyone. But all three jokes should have a player one's joke since player one won every single round in the previous two rounds. So once you get all of the points and the game ends, you should be good for the achievement. There it is, 50 gamer score for winning every matchup, and that's all there is to it.